friends and family. We are gathered here at this time to witness and celebrate the coming together of two separate lives. We have come here to witness the joining of this man, Joseph, and this woman, came down in marriage. To be with them and rejoice with them in the making of this important and everlasting the essence of this commitment is the taking of another person as lover, companion, and friend. And therefore should not be entered into lightly, but rather undertaken with great consideration and respect for both the other person and for oneself. Love of another is one of the highest experiences that we human beings can have and can add depth of meaning to our lives. Love is one of life's greatest joys, and when combined with genuine giving and sharing, each is infinitely enhanced. The day-to-day -day companionship, the joy of doing things together, and the delight of encountering the experiences of things done by the <laughs> is a continuous and central part of what a man and a woman who love each other we are here today to celebrate the love which brings Joseph and Chandel together and to recognize and to witness their decision to become one. May the love which joins your hearts today never fail, but grow deeper and surer each and every day. A little poem called The Art of Marriage says a lot of this. It says that a good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is never, it is always remembering to say I love you at least once. It is never going to sleep angry. It is never having to the sense of values and common objectives. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation instead of demonstrating gratitude in thoughts and ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other the atmosphere in which each can grow is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common sense of the good and the beautiful. This is the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, but it is being the right partner. So, Joseph and Shinzo, we join have you both come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? <laughs> At least it's not raining. <laughs> Joseph, do you take Chanel to be your lawfully wedded wife to live together in matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others to do only unto her so long as you both shall be? Do you take Joseph to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in natural ways, where you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep you unto him so long as you both shall live. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, and you have joined your hands together, and declared your consent before the assembled family and friends, at this time, you say to the I 
To be my lawfully what is right. To have and to hold from this day forward for better or worse, for richer and poorer, in sickness and in health, the law of the church all the day. Gentlemen, Joseph and Chandel, listen to this. Is fun. 